Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Asana. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Asana works. So if you have no idea about Asana and how to get started, then this video is for you. Asana is a powerful project management tool that can help you and your team stay organized, collaborate effectively, and achieve your goals. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the basic features of Asana and show you how to create projects. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Asana tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account, and if you already have an account, just skip this step. First, click on the Get Started button. From there, you can sign up with your email. Once you've signed up, the platform will prompt you to personalize your account. This is an important step to ensure that you can optimize Asana's features to fit your specific needs. So make sure to follow the prompts to personalize your account. After completing the signup process and personalizing your account, you will be taken to the dashboard. This is where you can find all your tasks, projects, and teams in one central location. From here, you can create new projects, assign tasks to team members, and monitor progress towards your goals. When you first land on the dashboard, you'll see a left navigation panel. This panel includes many options such as the Home tab, My Tasks, Inbox, Reporting, Portfolios, Goals, Teams, Invite, and Help. First, I'll show you what you can actually find in Asana, and then I will show you how we can use Asana. The Home tab is where you can get an overview of your tasks, projects, and collaboration. In the task card, you can view your upcoming, overdue, and completed tasks. In the projects card, you can create a new project and get an overview of an existing one. You can also view your recent and favorite projects here. In the collaboration card, you can view all your teammates you collaborate with and invite new members to join. Furthermore, you can customize your home screen by clicking on the Customize button. This allows you to select which task cards and project cards are displayed on your home screen. This way, you can focus on the tasks and projects that are most important to you and your team. In the My Tasks tab, you can view all of your tasks that are divided into different sections such as Recently Assigned, Due Today, Due Next Week, Due Later, and more. You can view all these tasks in various formats such as a list, board, and calendar format. Under the File section, you'll find all attachments to tasks and messages. In addition to viewing your tasks, you can create a new task by clicking on the plus Add Task button. You can also add new sections, add milestones, and import CSV files. This makes it easy to stay organized and on top of your work. Clicking on the task lets you add a description, due date, comments, and attachments. You can also add the task to a project and more options. The inbox allows you to receive updates, notifications, and messages from your teammates. It's where you will find all the information you need to stay up to date with your projects and tasks. You can send an invite to start collaborating with your team members right from the inbox, making it easy to start working together on your tasks and projects. In the inbox, you can also send messages to your teammates as well as archive messages that are no longer relevant. This helps you keep your inbox clean and organized, ensuring that you don't miss any important updates or messages. Additionally, you can see your activity on the platform, which helps you stay on top of what's happening with your team and your tasks. In the reporting section, you can get insights into your team's performance using real-time data across teams, projects, and departments. Asana can help you set up your first dashboard complete with charts and data visualizations. The Portfolios section provides a big picture view of your projects and team member workload across multiple projects. You can monitor the status of your projects and team members, making it easier to identify any potential issues. Asana can help you set up your first profile so you can get started right away. In the Goals section, you can set and achieve strategic goals for your team and organization. You can add top-level goals to help your team prioritize and connect their work to the overall objectives of your organization. You can view team goals as well as your own personal goals. Plus, you can add a new goal by simply clicking on the plus Add Goal button. The Team tab is where you can access all your workspaces. From here, you can view your team page, which provides an overview of all your team members and their tasks. 
You can also invite new teammates to join your workspace, allowing for seamless collaboration and communication. In addition, the Team tab allows you to create new projects, assign tasks, and monitor progress. With this feature, you can ensure that everyone on your team is on the same page and working towards a common goal. If you want to invite someone to collaborate on a specific project, you can do so by clicking on the Invite People or Invite Teammates button on the left navigation panel. Simply enter their email address and send them an invitation. Finally, the Help tab is where you can find resources to get started with Asana. You can view video tutorials and read articles on popular topics within Asana. Additionally, you can access Asana Academy, where you can learn about best practices for using Asana and earn certifications to showcase your skills. Now let's see how to create a new project in Asana. To create a project in Asana, you first need to navigate to the top right corner of the screen and click on the plus button. From there, select project. You will then see three options, blank project, use a template, and import spreadsheet. To create a project from scratch, choose the blank project option. Next, give your project a name and select a view from the list, board, timeline, and calendar. The default view for a new project is the list view, but you can easily pick another view that suits your needs. Once you have made your selection, click on continue. After that, you need to choose from the given options what you want to do first. If you want to assign tasks, set due dates, and get to work, select the Start Adding Tasks option. If you want to collaborate and stay in sync with your team, select the Share with Teammates option. If you want to automate and visualize your team's process, select Set up Workflow. Once you have made your selection, click on Go to Project. Now you have successfully created a new project. You can view your project in different formats such as List, Board, Timeline, calendar, and workflow. Asana provides flexibility in managing projects, enabling you to select the format that works best for your team. There are many available actions you can take on your projects in Asana. Asana provides a variety of ways of how you can sort and filter your list of tasks. You can also hide a field or column if you want to. Clicking the Customize tab gives you the access to customize fields, add rules, integrate Asana with other apps, add form, and add task template. For example, from here you will be able to create, edit, and share forms. Your form will take on the same name as the project it is connected to, but you can change the name of your form and add a description to give directions or information to form submitters. Forms also come with two default questions, name and email, to ensure that you get the contact information of the people who are requesting work from your team. You can choose to delete these questions when creating your form. Once your form is ready to share, you can click the Copy Link button and the link will be copied to your clipboard. You can share the link with your teammates in Asana as well as anyone who doesn't have an Asana account and they will be able to fill out the form. Once the form is filled out, the form submitter will see a confirmation message letting them know that their submission has been received and their submission will come in as a new task in your project. Asana offers three different plans to suit the needs of individuals, teams, and companies. These plans are basic, premium, and business. The basic plan is perfect for those who are just starting with project management and is free of cost. It includes features such as unlimited essentials, three project views, basic workflows, and basic reporting, among others. The premium plan is ideal for teams that need to create project plans with confidence. It costs $13.49 per user per month and includes unlimited essentials such as projects, tasks, activity logs, storage, and comments. It also offers four project views, list, board, calendar, and timeline views. Additionally, it provides automated workflows with limited preset rules, forms, custom templates, and advanced integrations. The business plan is designed for teams and companies that need to manage work across initiatives. It costs $30.49 per user per month and includes all the features of the premium plan, plus more advanced functionalities. It offers project and portfolio views and advanced workflows with unlimited dynamic and custom rules, forms, and custom templates. Additionally, it includes advanced reporting with unlimited dashboards, workloads, and integrations with Tableau, Power BI, and Salesforce. Asana's three plans provide a range of features and functionalities to suit the needs of different users. 
Whether you're an individual just starting with project management or a company looking to manage work across multiple initiatives, Asana has a plan for you. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Asana. There are more things to learn about Asana, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks again.